Hey Siri, did you know you can 3D print your own Apple Watch Band? I never really thought about it. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Noah here for Adafruit and in today's project video, I wanna show you how I 3D printed my wristband for my Apple Watch. So I've actually wanted to 3D print my own band ever since the Apple Watch first came out and when it launched there really wasn't a lot of options to choose from. So the idea was to kind of design a band that you just couldn't get anywhere else. But since then there's been a lot of new bands released and it's really become its own market. I mean if you just look at Amazon you can see that there are literally 41,000 options. But even with so many on the market I still think there's an opportunity to design your own. So in my first design, I really wanted to experiment with different textures and actually print them in two different colors. Mainly because at the time, the sport bands were only available in single colors and they were pretty basic. So I 3D printed my wristband in Ninja Flex filament. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically a elastic rubber-like material. It's really flexible and pretty strong. It's technically a TPU-based material that has a lot of the same properties of the official sport bands from Apple. I think the really cool thing about this project is that I actually 3D printed it flat on the bed. And because it's super flexible, you basically just pull it right off the bed and it wraps around your wrist. From a design standpoint, I 3D modeled it flat and I didn't have to worry about getting the curvature of my wrist right, so you kind of get that for free with the material, which I think is pretty cool. Probably the most important thing that makes this project work are these little connectors. They're specifically designed to work with the Apple Watch and the whole concept of making these bands with a quick release feature is that you can get a whole bunch of bands and it's really easy to swap them in and out. So of course, Apple doesn't actually sell these, but you can get them from online retailers like AliExpress. You can get them now in different colors for only three bucks. These things are actually 15 bucks when the Apple Watch first came out, which really goes to show you how the cost of things come down over time. So in my design, all I really had to do is to make a hollow cylinder on the end of each strap. This would allow me to easily insert the axle from the connector, so nothing really too complicated about it. But if you're interested in how I designed it, I did do a step-by-step -step tutorial, which I'll have linked in a card and down below in the description. In my second design, I really got inspired to make it into more of a useful utility. So I came up with this idea where I could fit the lightning audio adapter thing for the iPhone 7 so that I could carry it with me wherever I go. Mainly because I never remember to bring it with me, so I do need it to play audio in my car. Yeah, I don't have Bluetooth in my car. But I also put these little sockets on the side for holding tool bits. I kind of got inspired by the whole wearable Leatherman product, so I'll always have tools with me wherever I go. It also has a Batman utility belt vibe to it, which I think is kind of cool. What I found most interesting about this project is that you can really make it custom fitted just for you. I noticed that a lot of the bands out there have these sizing holes, and they're really necessary since everybody has different size wrists. From a design standpoint, you kind of have to have these. But since it's designed just for me, I don't have to have all these holes all over the place. Another cool thing about this project is I think it would make a great classroom project. So if you're a design student, you can really use this as an opportunity to get creative, think up unique concepts, design shapes, patterns, and textures. And if you're a person who already works in a creative field, you can really design your own to match your brand, your style, wardrobe, or costume, because, you know, cosplay. It's also way less expensive than the official watch bands. I mean, it only cost me 36 cents in material, and when you combine that with the $3 class, it's still way under the cost of the ones you can buy on Amazon or wherever else. Obviously, taking consideration that I already own a 3D printer, but I use it for work, and the printer has already paid for itself many, many times over. So I hope this project inspires you to make your own custom bands. Obviously, you don't have to make it for an Apple Watch. You could make it for Android Wear or a Pebble. The goal here is really to make it for whatever wearable device you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this project and video format, let me know. I usually don't talk about why I make something. I just kind of show you how. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel. We have a whole bunch of DIY projects that have to do with 3D printing and DIY electronics. I'll see you guys next week.